What's up guys, it's your boy Kazars, back with another fun little deck profile, and today we have the KC Cup topping deck Star Seraph Dark Lords. Um, I was meaning to get to this eventually, but like I saw it floating around on YouTube already, so I figured I'd get to my other Star Seraph ideas first. Um, but now that it tops such a high caliber tournament, I'm definitely going to get to it. Uh, the deck is very cool, so this is Raw's List main deck. I changed up the extra deck a little bit, which I will get to in a second. Um, but this deck, uh, normally you would have a 25% chance of seeing your stick and your chair together in the same hand to perform the stick chair combo, the stick chair combo, the scepter sovereignty combo. Um, but colloquially known as stick chair because this is a chair and this is a big stick. So that's just funnier and easier. Um, so you have a 25% chance of seeing the combo normally, but with your Excel draw, Excel draw, um, you get up to 48% chance of 48.57% chance of seeing the combo turn one, I believe, um, which is significantly higher. Like every other game, roughly, you should be performing your stick chair combo. Turn one, if not turn two, you have like a over 60% chance of seeing it, which is still even better because uh, Scepter will be able to get that um, pop and draw when your opponent has a card, so really cool. Um, so 50% chance going first is great. You get to loop a card out of your opponent's hand with a Robros. Um, for those who don't know by now, the combo is when you have both Scepter and Sovereignty, stick and chair, you normal summon your stick, you activate its effect to search, you chain your chair in hand to summon itself from hand, so resolve, you summon it, you draw a card, and then stick will search another chair, on, and then on a new chain link, you will activate the chair you just searched to use its effect to summon itself from hand, draw another card. So you drew, you drew two, you searched a chair, now you're going to exceed for a three material rank four monster, because chair can only be used for a mo for a, the exceed summon of a monster that requires three or more materials. So all six of these right here, um, you'll use that, and then you'll make your three material rank four, and then scepter, if you're going second, um, or if you're going first and you have like a useless card that you want to destroy, like a useless Valhalla, you can then use Scepter's effect to destroy, target a card on the field, destroy it, and draw a card. Uh, Scepter gives this effect to the Xyz monster you summon. So technically it's not Scepter's effect, it's the, the it's the new effect of the Xyz monster you just summoned given by Scepter, which will target a card on the field, destroy it, and you get to draw a card. So it's really good. Um, so you can... You can open stick chair normally, or you can open stick Valhalla with your skill see you later. Uh, you'll act, you'll normal summon stick, or you can activate Valhalla since you control no fairies to special summon stick. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you're going second, I would go Valhalla first. That way you don't commit your normal summon. Uh, so, you'll, so say you use Valhalla first, you'll special summon stick, activate its effect to search chair, activate see you later to bounce stick back to your hand. Now you have stick chair in your hand. Stick is not once per turn to search. So you'll normal summon it again, activate its effect to search chair, chain chair in hand, chain chair in hand, re resolve it, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then you also have the Ixchel draw, the draw two, which uh, increases the odds of seeing stick or chair even higher. You, know, you just, if you have one piece, you just draw two and try and get that other piece. Um, and you also have the banishment to thin a card from your deck before you do the draw two. Really cool there. Um, the deck is is expensive for sure, so. Um, I, I would not play it any any less than this, otherwise it won't be optimal and you're going to be frustrated with how much you brick because um, you are going to brick more often if you don't have this exact lineup. Uh, but if you do have all these cards, but you don't have the Book of Moons, you could probably try with a different tech. It would probably work just the same, but Book of Moon is the best tech card at the moment, so just heads up. Um, so besides Ixchel, you're playing the One Desire, the One Nastin, and the One Tezcatlipoca. Tezcatlipoca. It's an Aztec name. Um, Ixchel and Tezcat. Uh, yeah, this, I believe this is Aztec something or other. Aztec or, or maybe Incan or Maya. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but the cool names. Um, and then uh, one Contact and the one Sanctified Dark Lord. Uh, the the plus side to these is that A, they're fairies, so they can be used with, used with Valhalla. Uh, and being able to play Valhalla means you get to abuse stick chair combo more often because stick Valhalla just combo is just the same as stick chair. Um, you get their effects to recur some life points through the trap and also have a non-targeting monster negate. Uh, and they're just big bodies that you can summon every turn. Uh, Dark Lord Desire sends a card from field to grave by making it lose a thousand attack. Pretty cool. Uh, good removal um, and a 3k body as well if you don't use this effect. Um, but overall the, the deck just gives the, the Dark Lord engine just gives the deck consistency and big bodies that recur and give you a negate which is really nice. Um, and outside of that, we just have uh, the one Black Ship of Porn. This is your two material rank four. This is probably just the best one because it sends and deals some burn damage. So it's good against Desperado. And then 
Uh, Raw was not playing Papal Operative or Spark Dragon or Utopia Ray, but I believe... I mean, he had more two material rank fours, but you're going to be... Like, uh, Chair cannot be used um, for for anything except a three material or higher rank four monster. So there's like no, almost no point because you'll, you'll have to be using two sticks, um, which is great, don't get me wrong, because if you use two sticks, you'll get to target two cards on the field, destroy them and draw two cards uh, because you'll get both sticks effect, which is really cool. Um, but like he had like Diamond Dire Wolf and Malevolent Sin and Roach, I want to say. Um, but I, I don't think that's, he did not have Night Papal Operative, which is just incorrect um, because against Blue Eyes, um, so for those who don't know by now, I've explained in my other videos, but uh, Deltaros has a really cool clause where it says, while it has material, your opponent kind of activate cards or effect when you normal cards or effects when you normal or special summon a monsters. So when you summon Deltaros using stick as material, stick gives its effect to Deltaros to target a card on the field and destroy it. And because Deltaros is on the field and has materials, your opponent cannot respond to this effect, which is insane. But against like a blue eyes spirit dragon, for example, if you have all three of your your star seraphs on the field, including a stick, and your opponent has a blue eyes spirit dragon on the field, if they do not tag out, you make Deltaros with Scepter, Deltaros effect target the spirit dragon to destroy it. Your opponent cannot respond because Deltaros is claws. You get the destroy spirit dragon, draw a card, really good. However, if you have three material or three of your star seraphs on the field, and your opponent knows this interaction and uses spirit dragon to tag out, now you can't can't target their monsters because their azure eyes will resolve before you get to make your uh, three material rank four monster. Um, in which case you just go for Papal Operative, which can detach a material to gain 300 attack for every Xyz material attached to a monster on the field. Um, and if it's just him, he'll gain three times two because he'll detach one and then he'll still have two materials. So he'll go up to 3200, which just allows you to beat over that blue eyes or azure eyes silver dragon, which is really nice. So uh, Deltaros to pop the spirit dragon if they don't tag out. Uh, Papal Operative to beat over the Azure Eyes if they do tag out. So you do need the Papal Operative, especially against Blue Eyes. And 3200 attack is kind of hard for them to out because Cloud Castle only hits 3100 as well. So that that isn't an answer. Um, so it's pretty cool. So really good card. Definitely need needed. Uh, definitely need to play it. Um, but uh, that's the deck. Pretty straightforward. You have Aerobros for a turn one play. Deltaros. Uh, Utopia Ray. You can make this without Utopia. You just need three level four light monsters. So this is kind of cool. Uh, and then Thunder Spark Dragon is Regeki. Um, really nice. So... That's the list. We're just going to jump right into some duels. Grab your coffees. If it's not too late where you are, or if you're watching this in the morning, just grab your coffees and drink with me. Stick around. All right. We're up against a Seto Kaba. A blue eyes bitch. We're going second. Let's try out that stick chair combo against a spirit dragon that I was talking about. If we can get it. We're going second, so he's going first. Uh, hand's not looking too great. Um... So we have Valhalla, so if we draw Stick, we get Stick Chair Combo because we have Valhalla. If we draw Banishment or Ixshell, we get to Ixshell, so that's seven. So a lot of our decks, so there's the Stick. Okay, so we have the Stick Chair Combo. So let's go Valhalla, Valhalla Special Stick. Activate Stick, grab ourselves a chair, and then we bounce the chair, the Stick with our See You Later skill, and then we know we'll Stick, do the Chair Combo. Uh, I mean, that should be a game from there, which is so much advantage, so... Nice first easy game. Let's do another. Alright, we are up against the Yami Yugi. Um, this is not a new mic, by the way. I'm just... I, I, instead of using the stand for the mic itself, I'm using like the arm that goes around things just to switch it up a bit. Uh, so it is kind of elevating it and you're able to see it. So, same mic though. Uh, okay. We open triple banishment, not ideal, but we at least get a draw for turn. We get a search for Ixshell, and then we get a draw two with Ixshell. So maybe we can get something going here. He has the Merlin, which means he's going to end with um, a level five med draw and a level five boars. So we're just going to book a moon, target one of them, force the Merlin, and we get the dodge of the Dristin pop. So book a moon coming in clutch yet again um, as long. I mean, we could play around his cards, but I mean, ideally we get something here off this Ixshell draw. Otherwise, you can't really play ourselves. So. Um, we can stop him, but we can't do anything of our own if we don't draw anything. So that would be a little bit unfortunate. We'd probably just lose. He's going to gain 1,500 life points with Caliburn. That's annoying. Uh, this is why Caliburn is usually pretty good. The 500 attack boost is nice. And like if you open it as like your, if you open it as your equip turn one, then you get to gain 1,500 life points here. We give him the trap, which is a little, I'd rather give him the Gwen because um, either way, like he'll set the trap. I don't know. It's like, 
If he has Karma Cut, he'll just discard it anyway. Um, but if he sets the trap, he gets to get a draw one, basically. So he gets a little bit more advantage. We draw Dark Lord Desire. That's not the best. Um, gotta get this eggshell here. Keep the Desire in our hand. Get this eggshell. I'm not going to use the Book of Moon quite yet. Um, I mean, if this draws stick chair combo, that would be absolutely nuts. That would be nutso. Or like contact. Oof, double stick. That's a rip. That's a rip, boys. Um, yeah, we lose because he just summons. He goes Merlin and Grave. Yeah, unfortunate. It was a big old brick. Open triple banishment. Not ideal. If we'd open one of our Star Seraph pieces, which is an 80% chance, mind you, or even higher because we were going second, um, and then just drew with the other piece, that would have been so much nicer. Or like, if we drew like Stick Valhalla, that would have been good too. Um, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, just gonna scoop it up. It's alright, we'll try again. Alright, we are up against a Seto Kaiba. Maybe a Blackwing one, Mountain Seto Kaiba, I'm not sure. We're going first. Very nice, very nice. Um, we see chair with an Ixshell. So maybe we can draw a stick here. Ixshell effect. Draw two. No stick, no dice. Uh, well, on the right side, we can Valhalla still. Summon Tezcat. And now we have a negate and a Book of Moon. So that's a plus there. And then if we do draw the stick, we can see you later back the Tezcat and then do our stick chair combo. So, plenty of plays op available to us. Plenty of options. Tezcat and Epoca. Hmm. Setting three, passing. That's good for us. Cool. We draw another Book of Moon. All right, I'm just going to go to go to battle phase. Smack for 28. Right, yeah. Attack, 28. Got a new mouse, by the way. Check it out. Logitech Hero, something or other. G502. Pretty nice. So it is Shiranui. Interesting. Do I want to chain anything here? No, like... I'm just going to leave in the trap in the grave. I don't want to draw the trap. I just want to have the highest chance of drawing a stick. So I'm just going to leave the trap in the graveyard. No reason to gain life points here or anything. It's not like I'm going to lose my Book of Moon to prevent a Synchro Summon. So I'm, I'm not worried. Not worried at all. Oh. Um. So what can he do here? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, if he doesn't have a Gozuki or a Samurai Skull, he's kind of screwed. Well, I... This feels bad. I'm just going to hold... I, I don't want a special chair and then tribute summon for Desire because then I get rid of all my resources and if he has like a single Karma Cut or something, then I, I lose. So, I'm just going to chill. No reason to rush it. I'm going to draw... There's the stick. Alright, we'll do our stick chair play. Let's see if it resolves here. Um, do I want a special summon? My cat is snoring. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> um, let's just do st let's normal summon it. Yeah, scepter. Let's save the Valhalla. Floodgate. Oh no. Um. I'll chain the chair here. I can always see you later back the... Yeah, maybe... Dang it. Ah, oh, that's it. I did it. I did this all wrong. If I had just... Let this resolve, I could just see you later to back and then Valhalla and tried to do it then. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I should have done Valhalla, because then I could also normal summon Desire if he did anything. I did that all wrong. Well, learn from your mistakes, kids. It's alright. 
It happens. Um, well, I'm still gonna see you later at back. Um, because I can. I mean, like, he still has to push through Double Book of Moon. Alright, so he's gonna book a life. Banish my Ixchel. Fine, I guess. Summon the Spectral Sword. Does he have, like, Ballista Squad or something? No, he's just gonna book a life and set another card. Okay. Alright. There's another chair. I prefer to summon Stick, though. Oh wow, he's gonna let me get to it. All right, so we just go for Deltaros now. He can't floodgate me. I mean, if he had floodgate, he would have used it. But now I get the I get Deltaros uh, stick effect to pop a card, and he cannot respond. Uh, I'll draw as well. Sure, why not? I'll activate Deltaros now. Detach chair to pop another card. Ulti prop. Alrighty then. Um. All right, cool. So now I'm going to just book a moon. Um, so that I can search contact and use the contact. Yeah. Yeah. Grab that contact. He has a shade in the graveyard. Okay, so do I do this first so that I clear his spectral sword? I believe so. Yeah. Summon the chair. Let's contact effect. Summon back the Tezcat Lipoka. Four cards in deck, but that should be fine because I can just keep looping every turn. Set another Book of Moon. I'll enter battle phase. I'll attack over the sword. I mean, then I contribute over Chair for Desire on the following turn, and that should be the ball game. <laughs> a little, a little battle sound. Weak attack monsters make a little pew sound. It's kind of funny. They sound weak. He draws for turn. I mean, if it's like... It has to be specifically Samurai Skull. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Um, actually, it doesn't matter because I can just chain to negate it. Yeah. This, this should be over. This should be over. Um, this, this... Banishes any card. Huh. Alrighty then. So he can banish any card. Patan, huh? That's annoying. So now I guess to send... Uh... What's it called? Yeah, that thing. Um... So the Spectral Sword. Banish, yep. Hmm. Summons that. That sounds back. Okay, I think I let him get to Squire Saga or what is it? I don't know. What would it be called? Um Shogun Saga. I think that or what is he going for? He's going for a seven. Oh, he's going for Squire. Okay. I booked the Squire. Because I don't want him to activate his effect. I just want to flip it before he can. He's going to go to battle phase. All right. I just flip this as well. And then this should be the game from here. So I can just tribute over the chair for desire. Desire send one beat over the other. Yeah, that'll, that'll be the ball game there. That's cool. All right. Nice. Slower game, but it happens. This deck can grind for sure just because of the Dark Lord engine. Yeah, he lost his Spectral Sword. I don't know why I didn't make Shogun Saga. Whatever. Send one. Uh, Squire Squire Saga has zero, zero uh, defense. So easily beat over that. 
attack. Uh, the, the delay is just sealing ceremony of Catan, which I do not care about. And beat him, beat over him for 28. And even if he does like draw Gozuki, he can't use Spectral Sword the turn he sends it to Grave. Um, so no trap will help him because he doesn't have a discard. Um, no monster will help him here. Uh, it should be over. Yep, cool. Go put it up there. Nice. Let's do another. All right, we are up against an Akaza Izinski. Akiza. We're going Foist. He's on a rank down. Let's get him, boys. Get him, boys. Balance. Noble Knights. Uh, let's Ixchel here. Try and draw Banishment to get to. There's Stick Chair. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Stick, chain, chair. Bada bing. Bada boom. Activate chair. Make a Robos. Yes. Um, technically you can pop your own stuff with a stick, but I have nothing that I want to pop because I have my contact access and I have double book of moon. So I just want to loop a card out of his hand now. See what he's playing. Noble Knights figures. Nice. All right. So I'm going to add contact summon Ixchel. Activate actual copy banishment. Uh, I'm gonna grab Tezcat just to protect Ixchel from being from being destroyed. Don't want to grab the trap yet because like if I trap send Ixchel, then I have like no recovery. I'd rather just keep the Ixchel in the field. Um, and if I get Tezcat into the grave to by protecting Ixchel, then I can use Ixchel copy contact contact summon Tezcat. So I'd rather search the Tezcat here. Um, he can Merlin all he wants. I don't care. Um, I'd rather let him get to the Medrot, and then I can just book him in the Medrot. <clears throat> Waste some more resources. There's the Noble Arms of Destiny. Okay, now I just book a moon. Flip it. Cool, and he's gonna scoop it up. Nice, nice quick win for once. Let's do another. All right. We're up against an Udayan. <coughs> We're going second. Use my coughing fit. Trap tricks a tracks, huh? So you can activate dark holes or trap holes from his hand. Interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna go Valhalla first, because if he has the floodgate, I can just bounce my sti my stick and then normal summon it again. So I'd rather Valhalla first. Ballista Squad. Interesting. Oh, wait. Why would he... Why would he Ballista Squad? Now he can't... Activate any trap hole cards. Okay. Interesting. So now I'm just free, free, to, free to go. Free reign. Special defense, and he's going to scoop it up there. All right, cool. So that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed one kind of long form video, one longer duel. The rest were just pretty swift. Um, but you get the idea of the deck. Uh, just, I mean, if you've seen Dark Lords, you know how to play Dark Lords. If you've seen Star Seraph, you know what the combo does. Put it, Slap them together, and then just go off. You have a big Xyz play, and then you have Dark Lords to grind out the rest of the duel. So the deck is very fun. I like it. It is a little expensive, though, so don't feel too bad. If I mean, there are plenty of better options to play if you don't have the cards and don't feel bad don't feel like you're missing out on anything so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy your coffee wherever you are in the world i'll catch you guys in the next one like subscribe comment all that shit peace